Hey Jubes, it's a Saturday afternoon, all my jobs are done, and um, I was going to sit down and watch some TV, but I've got something better to do. That's right, start this up again. You've seen it before, and you'll see it again. Um, first thing I'm going to do before I start it, is get the... Uh, This stuff, singer oil, uh, all purpose high quality singer oil for use at home and industry, basically sewing machine oil. Um, got two oilers here for the crankshaft, the two main bearings. Um, there's a pivot here. The crank bin, may as well, bulkhead, get in there and now the power piston has got graphite on it but I found that the piston was still scratching so I put a little bit, a little bit on there a while ago and I haven't put any more on there, runs pretty good. Um, Methylated spirits. Basically, that's got an O-ring. It suits the engine, and uh, it's got the string. You take the cap off. There's your there's your string. Um, I went fill that up all the way, probably about two thirds, and that's it. Give it a bit of breathing room. I haven't started this for a while. I'm at the sink because if something goes wrong, <clears throat> if something goes wrong, I'm at the sink, you know, it, like, yeah, it explains itself really. Just try to think which way it goes again. Well, I know that the displacer is in front by 90 degrees, so it would have to go this way. I could be wrong. It doesn't want to go that way. Well, I could be wrong. Well, hang on. Yeah, the displacer. Yeah, yeah. That's leading 90 degrees when I do that. Hmm. It is like obviously sterlings take a bit to start up. While that's warming up, probably won't happen because the coffee's too cold. Well, not cold, but it's not incredibly hot either. So, hmm. While that's warming up, I'll leave that sitting on top of that cup.
That's all there is to it. Hmm. Oh yeah, and this guy is taking off. Let's get warm. Try and get you some close ups on it. This little guy is going good. I like how they put the counterweights on there. That is a very attractive engine. There's your car piston. Okay. I'll lubricate that with this too, but don't need it right now. Now each to their own there with that one. But like I said, when I got this engine, this tube was loose and I took it all apart and I noticed because I've run it a few times, and there was the um, there was scratches up and down the piston, like nothing major, just the graphite wasn't enough. So, like, just I could see the wear was still happening. So, I put this in there, and I don't have any problems. I really want that coffee. Keep the flies out. Not there we are any, but <sighs> yeah. Well, that's all there is to it really. You've seen it before, but so you know you gotta have more than one look at these things. They're always interesting. Oh well, thanks for watching and um See you on the uh, next video, I suppose.